Hey guys, Colonel Dan here today, and we're going to be talking about the Canon Cart 2v2 Draft Challenge. As you can see, I almost got up to the 10 uh, Canon Carts, but unfortunately, whoops, unfortunately I only got 11 out of the 12 uh, wins that I could have gotten. So it wasn't, uh, it, I definitely got a lot, but it, it, it was very close. I could have gotten that big reward at the end. So, I have a few tips. The Canon Cart, I'm glad that I got 5 of them, but I mean 10 of them, that would have been nice of course. But I find that the can cart isn't of the best of cards. I really like the idea of the can cart in that it's a troop and then it's a building. But we are going to hop into this match. As you can see, both of us had golems. Both of well, me and my teammate, of course. And I think that the golem is one of the uh, more powerful cards in the game currently. And you know maybe I'll try to get my normal decks. But I use it in this draft challenge and it was really effective so let's just hop into it um yeah so my tips uh always pick the goal okay here as you can see uh, what's happening um yeah, i'm gonna pick the princess because it just has more range i'm gonna pick the royal giant because it's a tank i'm not a big fan of using the balloon because i don't think it's that effective uh watch i'm gonna pick the goal and i picked the miner because it was just more guaranteed damage um compared to if like my opponent had a had arrows or a zap or anything, then my goblin barrel wouldn't be very effective. But anyways, uh, we have to wait on the opponent. My opponent, uh, my teammate has the graveyard, so that's a very good combination with the golem, golem graveyard. So yeah, always pick the golem if you see it in this can cart uh, challenge. Uh, I don't know if I saw the can cart, I wouldn't have picked it because I don't think it's very strong of a card, but. Uh, I guess maybe you guys, if you guys think it's good, then maybe you guys you can use it better than me. But in my opinion, it's a good idea, but not very strong of a card. So here we go. We're going to start. And... Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I always, you know, do that good luck. Um, and... Thumbs up, of course. Because we're nice people. Uh, let's see, this is our starting decks. I'm just going to drop that musketeer in the back because I can see that. Yeah, here comes the cannon card. Just look at it. It's kind of like a shield. When the shield breaks off, then it turns into a cannon, basically. Um, I'm going to use, uh, yeah, skeleton army, but uh, luckily he had the poison to take care of those uh, goblins. Look at that. Just melted by that scarmy. That's why I don't think it's a very good card. It's pretty weak, but its damage is pretty good though. Just look how good I can, yeah. Yeah, it can definitely perform very uh, quickly. Okay, I'm just gonna take down that. Um, wow, the golems never even came out in this match. Okay, this this was a really short film. Um, that, okay, that was really short. But you can see the cannon card. It's good at dishing out damage. It's kind of like glass cannon. It's good at dishing out damage, but it's not really good at taking damage itself. That was really short. So I'm going to play another one with the golem. Uh, nope. I want to look for a win here. Oh, as you can see here, I got like what, uh, four, three crowns in a row. So that's what the golem can do for you. Here, uh, um, I don't have the golem. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this one. My teammate had the golem, and we definitely used it. We definitely used it. Of course, he dropped him. Okay, I'm just gonna talk through this. Um, of course, I'm gonna pick the wizard because I'm not the fan of using the balloon. Uh, I'm going to pick the ice spirit, of course, because. Fire spirits. I don't. I'm not really a big fan of it. The ice spirit is more. Uh, it has more utility to it. I'm going to pick the minions, of course, because I gave them the balloon, and of course I'm going to pick the log because I gave them the goblin gang. The log's just more value against the uh, goblin gang as opposed to the arrows. So here we go. Uh, my opponent, as you can see, picked the executioner and the balloon, which I guess if he can use the balloon well, then it's a good card. But I can't really use it that well, so I'm not going to pick it. Um, the Executioner, that's a really strong card in, in Clash Royale, you know, not not just in any game mode, in Clash Royale, the Executioner is a really, a, it's a really strong card. So here we go, let me just bring this up. As you can see, uh, is my opponent going to drop the, arch, uh, the golem in the back? But anyways, I'm just going to put pressure by dropping that princess. As you can see, it makes him react nice, he drops the golem in the back. So, of course, he has to waste elixir just to counter that princess. And, uh, you know, basically, I think the goal, I see the golem as a, uh, 
as a long-term investment. I just have it building up in the back, everything building behind it, and then it can just get that much stronger at, um, once it reaches the tower. So watch it explode, it destroys all those the little troops around it. Look at that, two cannon cars doing work, nice. Two cannon cars are pretty strong themselves. They're just going to melt that battle grab, they're going to melt that ice wizard, and then they're going to head to the tower where they're going to get, oh, poison? Yeah, that, I mean, we made them waste a poison, so that's pretty good. But just look at it. Just once it's off its troop mode, it goes into its cannon mode where it just sits there, just squats there, and starts spewing bullets at whatever's nearby. So it's a really good deal. Um, the bowler is dropped in the back. I don't remember if it was by me or him, but the bowler is also really good player in this mode. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna let him get that one talent easy. I think that uh, elite barbarian is gonna get it. But anyways, we're starting another push. I'm gonna just drop that cat card in the back. I don't I didn't choose it, but I guess I'm gonna have to use it here. So as you can see, that one elite barbarian gets that one crown dust. But let's look at our cat card on the board. He has to drop two pairs of fire spirits in order to take down that huge push. Nice, and we got a bit of damage on, which is really good. How much damage do we have on the? We have no damage off from the twin tower, and nor do they have on ours. That man, it just got melted because of those two king towers and fires. So in this mode, you have to remember cards like graveyard, uh, goblin barrel. They aren't very effective once those two towers are released because uh, they can do a lot of damage by themselves. Uh, along with that princess tower as well. So, here we go, we're starting a golem push, and I dropped a uh, can card in the middle, I hope it's going to do lots of damage, yeah it does. But as you can see, lightning can one shot it, uh, we do get that two crown, but uh, unfortunately that can cut was out of range with any of the action. So here we go, we're going with another golem in the back, giant in front of it of course, how do we defend against this? Nice! Look at that, the cannon, the cannon card just pulls well, the, de the, uh, the cannon part of the cannon part pulls that balloon all the way to the other side of the bridge. Nice. We're just going to drop that golem in the middle. Okay, he knows he's going to lose now. Uh, both of them know in fact. That balloon, okay, let's just look at this health. Uh, it's just going down so quickly because of all the parts that are on it. The balloon, the golem, the giant, and the wizard, the bowler, of course. And did we get that blue card yet? Of course. As you can see, the golem is just so strong. You throw in the back. Everything builds up behind it, and then if it just, uh, it's, it's like a snowball, you know, rolling down a snow hill. That's the kind of a thing that the golem represents. A huge, unstoppable force that basically, you know, it just, that's, it's called a slow roll golem, of course. Um, I'm thinking of using the golem soon, I have quite a few cards of it. Um, yeah. But this is the can card. And if you haven't seen the stats, here are the stats. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Hunting Curl Dan. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.